Welcome back, everyone, to Nanalyze at Dawn. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we're going to match on Shimmer Shore. It's not Ampbots, but it'll. I thought it might be. Dr. Doom playing Shipyard and Anarchy Bank playing Hovercraft. Which kind of makes sense, because this map, everyone says, go Hovercraft, go Halberds, and. Was it Halberd? What was it? Halberd? Not Halberd. Howard Claymore, that's what it was. Yeah, Halberd Claymore would help get rid of all the ships that are being built. That was the way people said to go. And I... I'm not sure. Maybe... I've tried it. It worked okay. Last time I played this map, I just went ships and ended up out ecoing my opponent, but it was also a lower level game, so I don't know. Like, I wasn't fighting Anarchid. So it was a different matter entirely. Anyway, though, Doctor Doom, I do like the fact that they have the cutters up first. Like, that's... that probably gonna help a lot. Again, I'm not quite sure why Anarchid's going heavy on the daggers. They've got some claymores in queue. Same time, Doctor Doom just going for Cutters as a defensive force to get their Mariners up. Just Cutters can be surprisingly powerful. Yeah, they don't deal a huge amount of damage. 35 damage isn't much, but against units of 300 HP, when you have five of them and it's not a lot of, and it's not high reload time, like it's yeah, they they die quick. And of course, they can't fight back because the Cutters have all that disarming magic. So yeah, that, that's a bit of a problem. Anyway, Doctor Doom defending just fine. I mean, the main problem, the main question, of course, is what's going to happen when the Claymore is built up, and what exactly is Anarchid going to do after that? Because that Claymore dagger, which isn't a bad choice. I mean, the daggers are going to be able to get rid of this mass of units, which admittedly is being microed quite well. At this point, Doctor Doom is handily taking this from a micro perspective. And, of course, getting the macro. Well, the only problem with the macro is that Mariner was left idle for a little bit longer than it probably had to be, but... Hey, the cutter survived. Got rid of a couple daggers. The daggers aren't really dealing a huge amount of damage. Oh, does Doctor Doom know this is a thing, though? There are units going over to the north, and they don't know... Doctor Doom does not know that there are those units. So Doctor Doom in a bit of a bad spot. Like, okay, in an okay spot, but not a great spot. I think Doctor Doom's going to be... Uh, actually, no, they're going to be fine. They're commanders here. This is, by the way, the most recent version, so commanders start out with a beam laser. Just point out, pointing that out there. This is why I look for it. This is this is actually played about an hour ago, and yeah, this is the most recent version of the game. And these cutters are about to die. Or one of the cutters, three of the cutters. Oh, not bad. Yeah, this this claymore is going to be able to win against the cutters. Okay, maybe not. The disarm is the disarm is kind of a deal breaker. Gotta be honest here. That's really not the way to go. But at the same time, the disarm is still going to be a fairly strong option overall. It's just. Maybe, kind of, possibly. I don't know. You know what? Maybe maybe something other than cutters would be the way to go, right? No, no, I'd say Corsairs. Corsairs are a really good option to mass. Even when you're dealing with Claymore, especially when you're dealing with Claymore, actually. Corsair, Cutter, yeah, th that makes sense. I mean, you don't have to worry so much about anything underwater, but Daggers and Claymores can hit submarines, so this is a really good anti-sub composition. It's not a great anti-Corsair composition. Also, subs aren't really a great option for massing. They, they tend to die. A lot. Like, it, they, there's a lot of units that can deal with subs. Yes, yeah, so they don't have units that can deal with subs, subs do great. But unless you know, their opponents, you know they have a bunch of units they can't deal with subs, don't go for subs. The subs will die. Although, admittedly, having this low missile is nice, so maybe go for subs a little bit. At this point, the Doctor Team is doing fine with the Cutter, surprisingly enough. I really don't agree with Mass Cutter against Dagger, but... Especially against Claymore and Dagger. But it is working. Like, there's no denying that it's actually doing a really good job. So, hey, Cutter getting rid of the daggers. I mean, it disarms them enough and forces them to retreat, but it doesn't really kill them, so the units are getting massed up. Ionica's army is not shrinking very much. Doctor Doom, on the other hand, has been losing Cutters from time to time, and if these Cutters got hit by the Claymore, they'd be dead. They're so clumped up. And at the same time, Doctor Doom, like I said, they're, they're massing Cutters and nothing else, so they haven't, like, got anything. Oh, ah, there we go. Okay, changing out to Sirens. Interesting choice. 23 metal per second. I mean, it's, that's 30 seconds per Siren. Assuming they actually have all the... Well, they don't actually have all the metal in there. But once they get some Caretakers over there, that is 30 seconds of Siren, which... That's not much. That's not a lot of Sirens, I should say. That That's a lot of time. That's not much Sirens. Still, at the very least... That's... I mean, the urchins are at least stopping some of the attacks coming in here. But the daggers have plenty of room to get around. So ultimately, Anarchids, 
Anarchist doing fine. Their economy is a little bit behind Doctor Doom, but Doctor Doom did not have the caretakers up to actually take advantage of the economy, so the excess is real. That being said, the, the harassment from the Cutters has prevented Anarchist from expanding as much as they'd like to. I mean, it killed off a quill up here early on. This expansion would have these expansions would have been taken if that quill was still alive. So, Anarchid's behind about 5 metal per second because of all these cutters. Good job, Dr. Doom. That was some effective harassment. Siren coming in afterwards that one of the sirens is up. And an envoy? Really? At this stage in the game, an envoy. I can kind of understand if you want to get rid of some of the stuff on the ground, but Anarchid hasn't really built anything on these islands, and their main base isn't well enough defended for an envoy to be necessary. I mean, I guess if it gets to the daggers, it'd be useful, but the problem is, how are you going to defend that? Like, Siren Envoy... I mean, okay, I get it, but... It's going to be like a two or three Claymore strikes. That Envoy's going to be dead. Like, the Envoy doesn't have much HP. So, more power to you to try. And it's... I just don't expect that's going to work out the way that clearly Doctor Doom expects it to. Still, Cutter's coming in here, making sure they have an idea of what's going on in the base. So, they, they do know where to place the Envoy, at the very least. And the Cutters are doing a reasonably okay job thinning out the Dagger Herd. It's just... Or softening up the Dagger Herd, rather. And there we go, Corsairs. All right, finally, looking at it. I was wondering what it was going to be, and we got the Corsairs. And I got to say, I kind of take back what I said earlier about mass cutters. They are the, I don't know if they're the most efficient set of units available, but actually, got to be honest, this is 500 metal worth of cutters. There's 70 metal each, and they've been three veterans on it. That's, yeah, no, you know what? I kind of take it back. Doctor Doom, they're using units that are not really conventionally massed in this scenario, in a C-map, but... They've been doing a fine job with them. Now finally going down. But those cutters, like I said, they stopped a quill. Stopped a lot of expansion. Forced Anarchid to really be a lot more careful how they set up on the map. Gave Doctor Doom plenty of time to set up their own macro. And now it's paid off with, you know, Mass Corsair, Siren Convoy, or Siren Envoy as a convoy. That's going to be handy. Oh, actually, it's not as a convoy. Only the, only the Corsairs are together. But yeah, Doctor Doom's been able to take advantage of that economy. As a result, now at this point... Doctor Doom's not in a position to actually continue that. They do have the Siren. They do have Envoys, again, for some reason. The Corsairs, I totally agree with. The Envoys, I don't totally understand. But, okay, I want to see what I want to see what comes with this. I want to see the Envoys do something, because I want to know what they're going to be doing. But I just don't see how that's going to work, because the Claimer's going to come in here, and they're going to be wiping them out. That's 900 damage a pop. Yeah, two hits to kill an Envoy. And the Daggers come in. This is enough Daggers to kill one Envoy. 14 Daggers. That will one-shot an Envoy. Well, to be fair, it's surprisingly accurate for artillery, but yeah, that's not really the way to go here. Still, though, Doctor Doom, at the very least, is maintaining strong battle lines over to the western side of the map, so Anarchid can't really come in. And Doctor Doom still has their expansion. They still have, ooh, maybe not economic advantage. Anarchid's getting a lot of reclaim off the rocks that I'm sure Doctor Doom would like to have, and admittedly, they have been taking advantage of the reclaim they've had. So I'll give them that, but there's these rocks over here. Nice, juicy, tasty rocks that are open for, well, 290 metal. They provide some reclaim. And it looks like actually Doctor Doom is getting some of that as they get the static economy set up back. So there is that on top of the fact that the Corsair is coming back into Anarchist base. But okay, now I see where the Envoy might be coming in here, but the Lance should be able to wipe out three of the Corsairs in one shot. Two of the Corsairs in one shot. Not quite all three. Still... Actually, that might be that'd be fine. I mean, the Corsairs coming in here should be able to wipe out the metal extraction and wind generators. Probably not the Lotuses or Urchins. But, yeah, this is actually surprisingly effective, despite the fact that two of them were wiped out, taking no value for them for that life. But, hey, got in the back, wiped out some of Anarchid's economy. Not enough to really destroy Anarchid, but certainly enough to make them think. Now I got Siren Envoy coming in here, where the Envoy is actually really useful because it can outrange the Lance, I th think. I'm actually not entirely sure. Actually, I don't think it can. Check here. Lance is what? Lance is... 1,020 Elmo. Envoy is... 1,200 Elmo! I was correct. Envoy does indeed outrange Lance. I think I was looking at the Siren. Yeah, I was looking at the Siren there. Yeah, Envoy does outrange Lance, so there is at least some hope. And good preparation on Doctor Doom's part. I'm not sure that was the point of the Envoys. I think the Envoys are just there because in case defenses came up to get past that, or if there was a massive stronghold built up on this island here, then the Envoys would make sense. Like, the way they're being built, it almost felt like Doctor Doom builds Envoys as a matter of course, rather than as a reaction to something Anar Anarchid did. 
Arphelius, I'm gonna... Would you shut up? Sorry, back to the game. Yeah, I've... If anyone on YouTube is wondering, Orphelius is putting in a bunch of really negative reviews of Zero K in my stream chat. And it's starting to get my nerves. But at any rate, Anarchid is... Anarchid's kind of SOL right now. I don't see... I don't really see any way back in. I mean, the amount of damage they took from the Corsair Raid wasn't much. But the fact that there wasn't a huge amount of a huge amount of an army built up to deal with this, I mean, there's a lance. Yeah, that lance is going to be handy. It's, it's helpful. It got rid of the Doctrine's commander, and it might help with some of this army. The envoys, they're kind of dead from the halberds, but still, like, yeah, that'll help. But, oh, friendly fire. Never fun. That'll help, sure, but Doctor Doom's army here, like, what's... Ah, come on. I keep doing this. What's Doctor Doom at for army... Doctor Doom's army is about 6,000 metal. About, about 2,000 metal. Now, metal isn't everything, of course, but in terms of the unit composition, daggers, kind of handy, but the sirens are taking care of them, no problem. The claymores, that'll be good. Actually, that'll be really useful. Not sure it'll be enough, though. And hey, Amphots! We do have Amphots this game for Grizzlies and Grizzlies alone, because you're not going to see... Why do I even think of this map? Archers aren't going to be used on a water-based map. They are useless. They pop out of the water, then fling themselves out of the water because they're shooting at the opponent, but then flying backwards themselves because of the way the water impulse thing works. Anyway. Doctor Doom should be able to just push in. I honestly don't see any problem here. The course will get rid of the daggers. The claymores are a bit of a threat, but the Siren Envoy will take care of them, no problem. And actually, the Corsairs also help get rid of them. Like, the Death Charge is coming in here. That Corsair is dead. Oh, no, the Corsair is just, just damaged. Not even dead. Yeah, because normally my understanding is it's Claymore Halberd that you use for this, not Claymore Dagger. Not that the Daggers have been doing a bad job. It's just that that's not really what you use. And this is kind of why. Because, well, what can you do? And the answer Anarchid seems to be po proposing is you go off to the side and force your opponent to peel back from their assault because they have to defend their base. That's not unfair, but there are a lot of urchins and enough Corsairs back here to defend against all these daggers, so this is fine. These daggers are going to have no no real value whatsoever. They really should retreat right now. Like, right now, right now. There's a Corsair they're going to be running into as well. Even if they're evading Corsairs, there's another Corsair. There's always another Corsair. Yeah, those daggers, they got rid of what? A storage? An urchin? Like, they didn't... They didn't do much. I'll actually know they got rid of storage. Never mind, they actually did do quite a bit. That, that was that was preventing Doctor Doom from accessing, so... Uh, okay, good job there. You got rid of a storage for a player that had no commander. Damn it, this is why this is not supposed to be moved. Sorry, if you're wondering why I'm running into problems here, I never did before. I edited the, the spectator panels to make them default... Uh, set them up to allow the thing that let me default on, which has allowed you to move them. But it means I keep grabbing them, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I should have a lock hockey. And I know, Control F11 is kind of what that is, but whatever. Back to the game, though. It is... It is a little bit of an odd situation right now. Because Doctor Doom should theoretically be able to push in. But at the same time, these daggers are actually doing more than I expected. Getting rid of a couple of tidal plants and dealing some damage to the metal extractor. But honestly, now that they're gone, the Grizzly's really the only threat. That can be dealt with, too. Underwater units are not a problem. Sirens have a sonic weapon. They can get rid of that. I mean, the Corsairs don't really manage to get it when the Grizzly isn't above water, but still. On the other hand, though, Anarchid has a really strong economy right now. I'm much stronger than Doctor Doom, and Doctor Doom does not have the production capacity to really make their economy, or rather, doesn't have the energy to make the economy work. They've got the metal. They have plenty of metal. But they have no power. I think it's actually going to turn the game around. Anarchid getting some rating going on in the back, back lines, and there isn't a Lance here to help out this time. Grizzlies on the front lines that might pull back in order to deal with this, but I don't know if it's going to be enough as well, because really at this point, Envoy is coming in here, helping get rid of the Grizzly. Oh, okay, not doing anything to the Grizzly. If the Sirens pull in and go for the Grizzly, they should be able to deal some damage to it. The Corsairs, okay, spread out, get rid of the, get rid of the Urchins, get rid of the Metal Extractor, get rid of the Wind Generators. That will help 
pull down Anarchy's economy and provide Doctor Doom some room to catch up now that they're no longer excessing. Yeah, get the Mariners back up. Get some reclaim going. Good thinking. Of course, the problem is the Sirens are not actually going to get rid of the Grizzly. The sirens can hit underwater, right? Like, they've got a sonic weapon. Yeah, water capable. So that's right there. It's not a huge amount of damage, but, you know, it's something. It, it will get, help get rid of the Grizzly. So I guess the other option is to go for like mass seawolf. Just get all this get all the submarines because why not? I mean there's there's counters sure, but it'll get rid of the grizzly. Or, you know, have the grizzly go on the shallows and then be above water. Or more importantly, have the corsair go in the back and actually do something this time because nothing's going to stop it. There's nothing in the back that'll stop the corsair. 20 seconds for this to come up. There is a claymore that will be a bit of a problem, but that's fine. Are you kidding? A claymore inside of Anarchy's own base? Anarchy's going to damage their own base more than they're going to damage their opponent. Now, this is perfect for Doctor Doom. Unfortunately, not able to get rid of all the caretakers, but still able to get rid of some of the metal extractors. Maybe get rid of some of the wind genera or tidal generators. Nope, just the metal extractors. Still not bad. Like, not a bad raid, but it's kind of feeling like it's undervalued. At the very least, Mariner should be able to get in here and deal some damage. That Lance, though. That Lance-Grizzly combo. Like, there's nothing that Doctor Doom really has that's dealing with that. And again, Sea Wolf. Sea Wolf. Build the Sea Wolf. You get that and you're good. That's all they need is a Sea Wolf. Now you get a Sea Wolf, all these problems go away. Now there might be other problems in terms of Claymores and Daggers, but the force that Doctor Doom had, past tense, would have dealt with that. But now they're dead. So they can't, because they're dead. I Yeah, Anarchy's got this. Anarchy, this is Anarchy's game to lose at this point. So, really, Doctor Doom, unless they, unless they start playing this really carefully, manage to get rid of maybe one of the Grizzlies with the Envoy. They get lucky with the Envoy, get rid of the Grizzly. Maybe from there, maybe get rid of the Lance. I don't know. I think the Lance is almost more of the bigger threat. No, Lance is the bigger threat. What am I saying? Lance deals three thousand damage a shot. Like that is the bigger threat by a factor of two. But the main problem is that Doctor Doom doesn't really have the army they had before, and they aren't going for forces that'll actually counter what they're fighting. Again, I know Claymores are there, but those Claymores were being dealt with. However, the Grizzly... The, the Serpents will get rid of the Grizzly, Serpents will get rid of the Lance. That's assuming you don't switch off to air or something, but yeah. They're, they don't have a whole lot that'll actually work for them. Although the Envoy, I do understand. I get the point of the Envoy, but the problem is as the Grizzly approaches, the Envoy becomes less effective because the, the Grizzly goes underwater, the Envoy can't hit it anymore. Which means now there's not much. And hey, we got Sea Wolves. Okay, cool. I'm not the only one thinking Sea Wolf. We have Sea Wolf. That'll help a lot. Oh, and the Corsair actually managing to do more Corsair raiding. Yeah, that's a dead quill. Same time, though, that's a lot of dead everything else in Doctor Doom's side. A lot of Mariners, a lot of Envoys being threatened. The Sea Wolves not really going forward much, because, again, the Daggers do counter them, so not right now. I don't think there's much counter as they can fight the Sea Wolves. Like, Daggers don't really counter. They're just, like, it's just not an uneven, f it's just not unfair. But Grizzlies can't. Scallops can, though. Oh, yeah, that good thinking by Anarchid. Already getting the Scallops up there help get rid of the sea wolves that that is actually really smart okay yeah that's a that's a bit of a shame okay well i guess i should take back what i said before okay not me i should attack what i said before i mean that was just a really good reaction from anarchy they had the economy to make that work just getting a handful of scallops to deal with the sea wolves then they got those slightly in advance but still you know deals with the sea wolves i mean it's not the most effective for cost like, 280 compared to 220, and a Sea Wolf can win. But again, more things that can fight back against the Sea Wolves. However, the Grizz one of the Grizzlies is going to go down. So, at the very least, some room to breathe for Doctor Doom. However, only a little bit. The Envoys here, I mean, they can't really do much. The Ducks going to come in here with their, their torpedoes and wipe out all these Envoys. Nothing can hit underwater right now. There's no Hunters or anything. And Doctor Doom, realizing they don't have any way of stopping this, throws in the towel, and that is game. Wow, that was a bit of a back and forth. Look at Doctor Doom. They never really totally had it, 
But the early harassment didn't do a bad job. I mean, it ran into some problems and ultimately did fail, but that wouldn't, wasn't the worst thing in the world. Like, it did work. It just, just kind of didn't actually accomplish much. Okay, that doesn't make sense because that means it didn't work. All right, I, I'm just contradicting myself here. The point is, Doctor Doom did do some smart harassment attempts. That lance there was just bad timing. If that lance wasn't built up, or good timing on Anarchist's part, if that lance wasn't being built, those Corsairs would have had a field day. They would have been able to wipe out everything. And even without that, had the Seawolves been built earlier, like at half the Seawolves start tearing apart the Grizzly, and more so the Lance. If you got rid of the Lance, the Grizzly isn't as big of a deal. That can just be, that can be tanked. The Lance is what can't be tanked. If the Lance could have been attacked by the Seawolves before Anarchy had responded with the Scallops, the Seawolves could have gotten rid of the Lance, that meant the Grizzly would have been more vulnerable, and Anarchy would have lost, like, five, no, 4,000 metal worth of units between, no, 5,000, yeah, between the Grizzlies and the Lance. For nowhere near the same value on Doctor Doom's side, Doctor Doom would have had center control, been able to reclaim, and then continue to push forward with Siren Envoy, which would have been great for dealing with what Anarchid had in their base. But unfortunately, Doctor Doom lost all those units, which meant that even once they got the Sea Wolves, they didn't have the follow-up force still available to actually deal with what Anarchid had. Especially the Scallops, like the Scallops that could have been taken care of by the Sirens. But the Sirens were dead, so no, that wasn't an option. Anyway, that's that's that for now. So we're gonna have a right. We're gonna have a short break, very short. Just gonna start up the other game because what I want to do. There's a game that was released for Ludum Dare that I want to show. It was just kind of weird, but. Yeah, I want to show that so that it's a thing that we can have. And then I will end the stream. So play that for a little while, and then we'll be back. So stay tuned. <laughs> 